Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have released iOS 18 software update for all the compatible iPhone models that are running iOS 17. When you check under settings general software update section on your iPhone, you may be seeing two updates available to update on your iPhone like iOS 17.7 .7 is available now and below that you will see the also available section which shows upgrade to iOS 18. When you tap on this section it will expand and it will show the details about iOS 18 update Date and all the features that are coming to your iPhone. You may be confused if you're new to iPhone which software update is right now we need to install like whether we need to install the 70.7 and then we have to update to the 18 or straight away we can go to the 18 version. So the answer is pretty simple. For the past few years Apple allows us to stay in the older major stable release iOS version if you don't want to install the updated latest iOS version with all the new features coming to your iPhone. Some users on their older device with battery health you know around 80 percentage or for apps compatibility reasons if they have some applications like banking applications and any company or corporate provider applications they may not ready to install the latest iOS 18 version so in such case if you want to stay in the older version still you have to receive all the bug fixes and security fixes then you can proceed and update to the iOS 17.7 .7 on your iPhone you can update to the 18 after one or two months when iOS 18.1 and 18.2 comes out with more stability and bug fixes. So for such reasons Apple allows us to stay in the iOS 17 version or if everything is good like it is your private iPhone and you have all the apps and banking apps working normally if you have seen in the beta version of iOS 18 then you are ready to update to the iOS 18 right now to experience all the new features that Apple brings to your iPhone. I'll also leave a link to some of the iOS 18 features I have covered in our channel uh, in the description and in the first comment. I'll pin that comment for you to easily access that playlist available in our channel to get a quick preview of what are the top iOS 18 features coming to your iPhone and iPad. iOS 18 is good to update on your latest iPhone models. It's absolutely fine. So far no big issues reported. There are few minor bugs and issues here and there with you know keyboard little bit hangs while typing faster and you know uh, most of the banking apps and other third party applications are working normally with iOS 18 so far. With the last release candidate version of the beta of iOS 18 it was running perfectly fine so you have to decide based on the applications which iOS version you need to update right now based on the tips that I have provided. Thank you so much for watching for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe thank you and have a wonderful day.